What is up guys? It's Minuscule signing in here with ya. So I'm bringing you a game today that I am pretty stoked on, I'll be 100% honest. This game is pretty filthy. Um, it's not the best KD ratio I've ever had. It's not, there's, I mean, there's nothing like super ridiculously spectacular about it. Other than the fact that I'm using the Mac 11. Oh my gosh, this gun is a beast. I don't know why people don't use the Mac 11 more, especially after this game. I've been using it a lot lately, to be entirely honest, and it's been going great. I mean, I've, I've been having really good games with it. I've been going positive all the time with it. I honestly, I just couldn't get like a gameplay that I felt that was like, you know, worthy of uploading and worthy of letting you guys see until just barely. So I actually don't get any of like my super high kill streaks in this. Um, for instance, I don't get my dogs. I get really close two times in a row, um, but I die right before. Not that I'm really too worried about it because this is seriously one of the funnest gameplays I have had in a long time. I had a blast doing it, and I'm thinking that you know you guys are going to be able to see that I had a blast doing it, and hoping I'm hoping that uh, you guys really enjoy the fact that. I'm using a different gun and I'm, you know, not using overly powered weapons. I'm using underpowered weapons and I'm still Rick rolling kids super hard. So the cool thing about this gameplay is, is how I play in it. Um, I don't play super passive. I'm honestly playing really aggressive. And one thing that you'll see that I'm comfortable doing, I'm comfortable facing off against more powerful weapons with the Mac 11. Just because I know that this thing dumps bullets with rapid fire on it faster than most weapons can put out on me. So I'm not really afraid to match up against a Fomis, or I'm not really afraid to match up against another weapon. Uh, compared to like, you know, if I had my Spectre, I would be a little bit m more hesitant to come out and make shots against bigger weapons like that. So you can kind of see there, I overextend myself a little bit too much. I put myself, what I should have done is I should have peeked that corner so I could only see that back guy. I peeked it a little too far, I put my body out too much, I extended myself a little too much, and I paid the price. I died. I did get my... Uh, my attack helicopter and my attack helicopter does absolute work for me right here I'll be honest it really does and so my whole concept of this game is I'm trying to, honestly what I'm trying to do is I was trying to get a fast TDM gameplay with a Mac 11 I thought that would be absolutely awesome so that's what I was going for as you can see I'm kind of I stay around village or what me and my buddies call village but I'm constantly hustling back and forth between the spawns um, the spawns flip I try and chase those kills and try and go get them and so basically what you're gonna what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to progress my kill streak till kill eleven or until I basically get an SR seventy one. And once I get an SR seventy one, I'm comfortable enough to go out and hunt. To basically go out and start chasing down those red triangles because in SR seventy one I can see which way they're aiming, I can see which way they're looking. Um, I feel really comfortable being with an SR seventy one out and being able to go chase it down. So I get that kid with a really lucky nade. Something I want to mention just a little bit before I want to hop back into the gameplay. I want to take a step back for a little bit. I want to be different from most of the YouTubers out there. I really do. I, and I'm trying to by uploading specific things. And I'm thinking that I play differently than most YouTubers. And I know a lot of the YouTubers out there have mad skills. Like there, there are some good YouTubers out there. But what everybody does is they stick to the whole pick a topic and talk about, talk about a topic. Which, of course, I want to do because it works great and I really enjoy it. So I'm going to take a step back from what I'm trying to say a little bit and get back into the gameplay just for a second here. So my buddy dropped a care package and he asked me, you know, I'm trying to get Hardline. Will you pick it up for me? And I said, of course. So he throws it down. I see that there's about four or five guys. And I said, in, in, uh, in part of chat, I said, all right, it's time for Minuscule to go to work. And literally, I don't know what it was, but me saying that just turned me on it just made me go and so this is a pretty sick uh, eight I think I think I get 10 kills here I think I die right before my dogs it's a pretty quick pretty fast 10 kills um, and it's a cool kill streak so you can see I have eight bolts up to my gun and I noticed that and I ran out um, even with scavenger pro I wasn't picking up the packs there was too many people out there that's something that um, kinda comes and gets really scary to be entirely honest is even when you're when there's so much battling going on you can't pick up your, your 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 packs to reload your gun. So something I want to talk about that it's a little late. You might have to rewind the video to watch. But if you watch how I play, I peek the corner. I peek the corner as to where only if I, I don't fully extend my body out. I, I put my body barely outside of the corner. I lay my 20 bullets down. I step back behind the wall. I reload, step back out, lay them down, and I continue to do that. So what I'm doing is while I'm reloading, I'm not I'm not out in the open. I'm backing up. And what that does is, 
basically it throws off the enemy players because they're going to say, what the heck, he's backing up, and then I come back out and I, I surprise him. Can you believe how many care packages were just there? <laughs> so this, that was an awful Valk Rocket, by the way. This Valk Rocket, I kind of uh, bring it back, though. Triple kill, that's pretty sweet, I'll be honest. So hopping back into um, what I wanted to say earlier, I, I want to be different than most YouTubers. I want to... And I know most YouTubers are doing the life story stuff, and I kind of I want to do those. I haven't done too many of them. Um, but I, what I really want to do is I really want to let you guys know, give you tips and tricks to make you better. Because that's honestly what I want. I want you guys to look and be like, hey, you know what? Um, I enjoyed his videos because I learned something from them. That's what I kind of want. I, and I, I'm hoping that, you know, by you watching the way I play, you kind of look at it and say, hey, you know what? I think I can do that. I think I can do what Minuscule does. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Like, rate, comment, whatever you want to do. Um, it helps me out. Tell me what I did wrong, what I did good. All right, guys. Minuscule.